Hi, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over King Gob Smack because there was a video I posted last year that's very outdated now. And I got a request from a person in chat to make this video because they were really wanting to see a new strategy for King Gob Smack. So I took it upon myself and did a couple runs off stream and I was able to figure out what's the optimal strat for King Gob Smack. Honestly, you can even one turn this fight. I'm, I'm be honest. If you have these cards, you can genuinely one turn this fight, and that's about it. You, some people still tend to farm this boss, and that's usually only for PvP. So I was like, all right, I'll make this into a video. And some people have to do this quest whenever they go to Caramel. So if someone's questing and they want to do this with somebody and they want to hurry up and get this fight over, this is probably like your fastest way of doing this. But if you do enjoy this type of video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that type of stuff. Also, be on the lookout. There's going to be an announcement video coming soon for something special regarding Wizard 101. And something I will be taking a part of. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And yeah. So all you need for this strategy, this one particularly, is you need a someone that has Mass Fate Hat that you get from the Professor Pack. You need someone that's a life or has the item card uh, Guardian Spirit. You can get it on gear pieces. You can get it on uh the pet there's some pets that have it there's many alternative ways of getting it if you don't have a life character and you can also put on the life mastery there's, there's so many like nitty gritty stuff that you can do to change this outcome and you need a person to hit to be honest you can two turn this you can three turn this depending on how many people you have but the minimum amount of people you need to be honest is three people because you do need mass faint uh, you need someone to guardian spirit somebody and you also need a hitter so three people is the most optimal way of doing this and that's about it once you mass faint you tempest and then someone's guardian spirit all the row of enemies will die and at the end of the fight once everyone dies someone's gonna get resurrected and you, that counts as winning the fight this fight is kind of bugged right now though because for some reason there should be a new row of uh trash mobs that spawned unless that was changed uh within the last couple patch notes that i wasn't here for because if i remember when, if i remember this fight correctly he should spawn in a new row of trash mobs but for some reason he isn't doing that anymore i guess they changed it or i don't know i haven't gotten any i haven't asked anybody i haven't asked anybody in, in particular that might know that answer but a new row does not spawn so just for now till this fight ever gets updated this will be the current guide of finishing king gobsmack um, more videos coming out soon this is a very short video didn't want to make it too long i don't need to do an in-depth analysis of each and individual thing because this one's kind of just straightforward uh just having a mass fate if you don't have mass fate blade up a hitter do it two round um stuff like that there's many options that you guys can do if you guys have any questions leave it in the down, uh, comments down below and i'll try my best to answer if not come by the twitch chat and i will try my best to answer your questions or join discord if you guys have any questions regarding that you guys want to ask in the discord more people will be there to answer your questions or even i will try my best to answer it but that's gonna be it be sure to leave like subscribe all type of stuff and uh, be on the lookout for another video coming out soon later today i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace out guys yeah, GG. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. You just need someone to be. You just need Guardian Spirit. You can turn one, just Guardian Spirit, yeah. Oh, there, there's the cheese. Uh, you don't even, yeah, because if because he's supposed to be spawning them in, and if he doesn't spawn them in like that, then yeah, you could just one round it. But if he does spawn it in, then you would have that person like your storm, just come on in, and then. I would be alive, your storm would be alive, and then just on your other two characters, you'd flee and come back. And then just repeat the process. But but instead, Blaze would elemental blade your storm, and then I would blade up your storm, and then you'd mass faint. I see. And then just Tempest. But since he doesn't spawn in the second row because he's glitched, <laughs> you can just one turn. So we just, yeah, so we, they just made this easier. Yeah, so it went from a two round to a one round. <laughs> uh...